And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The World Series on MLB The Show coming up. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Chomby and Chris Singleton with you. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. Well, winning game one on the road was huge, Boog, and they could put a stranglehold on this series with a win here in this one, and that's obviously the goal. You want to go back home up 2-0 with a chance to wrap up the series in your own ballpark for sure. And if it goes the other way and the series gets to 1-1, it's a total reset as we change venues for the next three games. We'll be back to get this one started after this. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value and the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. That's hard hit in the line. And a lunging grab. No, just an excellent job to track that one down. That was a tough play, and she tried to stay on her feet, not wanting to dive and maybe have it go by her, but... Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in game two. Ripped on a line to center. Swift makes the grab on the run. Man, that he cool. smoked that fastball. No, it's all good. over it. It's just frustrating no, when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time up, he'll find a hole. And yeah, we're back. And now the center fielder, Taylor Swift. Taylor. Swift. Glass now back to work. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. She's going for three. The relay throw in there safely. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Next up for Texas, Adolis Garcia. He's a guy, Chris's highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms in the sport. And there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. So runners at the corners, nobody out. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. On the ground, the third might be two. Muncie over to second, and a run scores on the double play. First and third, nobody out. You're thinking you've got it lined up for a pretty big inning right here, so that double play is pretty deflating. They get the run in, but now they're starting all over. Now batting, the center fielder, Taylor Swift. In the dirt, blocked. Oh, one's the count. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame here in game two of the World Series. And a foul ball. 
Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. A little tardy on that fastball is going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. In the air, right side. Fair ball. Coming home. The throw in. He's safe. Next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. Adolis. If you were an average Garcia. catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Run around the move, pitch in for a strike. Throw safe. That was close, but StatCast shows us why she so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and she needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. In the air, center field. On his way over. He's got it. Runners tagging from second and third. Throw is offline, and he scores. It's 5-1. Man, there's a sack fly to bring home another run in this inning. These hitters are just piling it on. We're seeing some really quality at-bats out of this team right now. Here is Marcus Simeon. Glass now, ready and deals. Ripped to short. Throw on to Freeman. Now two away as they get a run across. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Game two of the World Series. Here's the center fielder, Taylor Swift. Glass now, back to work. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Let's ball talk one, about no great individual postseasons. One that really sticks out to me is Ricky Anderson in 1989. He hit 441 with three. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Booyah! And it ties it up. It's 7-7. Wow, what a clutch swing right there. And now anything can happen in this game. They thought he could blow a high fastball by her, but she was ready for it. Look at how quickly she jumped on that pitch. Back here in L.A. And now the center fielder, Taylor Swift. The pitch. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. So a runner on base to start the inning. Well, Singy, she is locked in no, there. She's really slowed the game down, and it's like she's moving at full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that she squared up that baseball tells me that she is seeing it like a beach ball. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. With the go ahead run at first, here in the late stages of game two. And that's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. First and second, no outs. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. Grounder might be two. Over to second for one. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. One down. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Young. And a pitch. Ground ball could be two. 
Good feed. That's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. So no runs here and a base hit. No errors. And one left. Midway in inning number seven. And it's time to stretch. And we are tied 7-7. Taylor Swift getting ready to hit. She's already homered in this game. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. She was all over that like, one. Really nice job I staying up the middle with her approach. She didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Had a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. No outs. Runner at first. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Three, two. Runner takes off. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizes this one up. And out number one on the grab. Now it's Marcus now Simeon. Second if you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. That's towards center. Two away. Up next for the Rangers, the third baseman, Josh. Here's Josh Young. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. This one popped up. Muncy settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. And that's the third out. So one hit is all they get. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the nine. And we are tied 7-7. Seven, seven. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now the number two hitter, James Outman. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. That's ripped into the outfield. She's got it. And there's one down. They trust her in center field because she's capable of making plays on the run, and no, we saw baseline. it right Number there. Five. That's a player you... We're in extras here. Here's the center, the center fielder, field. Taylor Swift. Taylor. Oh, yeah, Boog. She's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. She's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. <laughs> the pitch. And fouled off. It's a base hit. A leadoff single, and the go-ahead run is aboard. Always feels amazing getting the job the done when the team needs you to the come through. Field. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Garcia. Good extension on that swing. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate and drove it up the middle. She let it travel just enough. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. The one two and there she goes oh and he hit him he had two strikes on him and he hit him now the pressure is already yeah. high and now it's been cranked up to another level man his head must be spinning out there on the mound he's got to find a way to slow things down that breathing technique Boog let everything out Bounce to third, Muncie to second for one. Over to first, okay. safe.
Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Josh Young. Swift, the runner at third. Simeon at first, one gone. Hard ground ball, base now. Runner from third, in to score. Eight, seven, they take the lead. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now, with still only one away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. So it took extras, but here's how the numbers shake out from this one. Well, they couldn't settle this one in nine, but who doesn't love some extra inning baseball in the postseason? And a final, eight to seven. A one-run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.